What is going on, all my fellow nerds and geeks? Take two. So I just shot this video, was not happy with it, the dog was going crazy, so I put him away. We're gonna try and shoot this again. So I've already got all of the pops and stuff out of the box. We're just gonna run with it. So basically, starting off was one that I picked up at HQ. I didn't think that they were actually going to have this at HQ, so it was actually a huge surprise. And it is the Christmas Town Sora from Hot Topic. Uh, just has the common first wave stuff on the back. No big deal. I really like the detail on this pop though. It does come with a stand. So, but the detail on this is really, really good. It's going to look really good with my uh, Christmas display, but I am hoping that we get some other Christmas town, um, characters. I can't remember in the game if any of the other ones had any kind of, uh, Christmas outfits. I'm going to have to look it up now because after, you know, getting this one and seeing it, I was, I haven't played the games in a long time. I'm really excited for the new one, but I haven't played it. So like I said, I really, really do like the detail on this one though. They did a great job on this guy. So then the next one, <laughs> I feel like I waited years for, <laughs> I pre-ordered it, uh, right when he came out and well, it was, it was a set. I got both of them. And like I said, it felt like it took forever. Right when they announced it, I pre-ordered it. And it is the Twinkie the Kid and T Twinkie the Kid Chase. The, the common ones, not the Target exclusive glow in the darks. I do have those ones. If you guys watch my videos, you would see that. So like I said, I've got already out of the box. So for the, the Twinkie, um, they did come in decent shape. Uh, they were wrapped in the bigger bubble wrap. It was from Big Apple. Big Apple collectibles, and I believe they have a 100% guarantee on the boxes and stuff, but they're not so bad that I'm, you know, I mean, you can barely see the little wave in it. It's just kind of pushed down, and I mean, that could be potentially fixed. Kind of the same with this one. There is a little bit of creasing down at the bottom of the box, but nothing too crazy, so I'm, you know what, I'm cool with it. And uh, this is this guy out of the package. I like this one versus the other one here i just like how it says like hostess on his little neck band um the differences in the two if you don't know the uh the target chase is the common of the regular so this one right here is glow in the dark they're both glow in the dark at target but the chase version of this one is the common target one so that is the big difference. Um, I got really lucky with the, ch the target chase. I'm, I'm super, super happy about that. So uh, then following on that, um, Monday, I wanna say it was Monday. This Monday, Funko had a exclusive Funko Shop release. And it, <laughs> it, it irritated some people. <laughs> there was a lot of complaints about it. Uh, basically these were a New York, it's, it's not New York comic con, but there was a New York con. I can't remember exactly what the con was, but they released, they're going to do multiple colors of the Mickey pops. And so they had this one right here and a 10 inch version of these, this color scheme. So at the con, I want to say these were like. $14.99, 15 bucks, something like that. And then uh, the big one though, the big one was $108 for the big one. The sticker on it is different from what I've been, been told is that this one actually says Funko Shop exclusive. Um, the Funko, I think it's pop-up. Yeah, so Funko Shop exclusive and it's limited edition. You see the sticker there. Uh, so they had that and then the problem was is that the 10 inch one through the Funko shop was only $30. And the only difference was is the sticker. So it made a lot of people very upset. Uh, I saw one comment, someone waited in line for multiple days. It costs like 110 bucks, you know, after tax and all that stuff to get the 10 inch Mickey and then for them to turn around the next week and release the 10 inch Mickey for only $30. And the only difference is the sticker. Uh, yeah, it made it made some people pretty upset. Uh, the back of the box does have the new, the, la the latest wave, which is the uh, holiday Mickey, the planet crazy Mickey, and then the conductor Mickey. Uh, so I was able to actually 
they had a lot of these at HQ. When I showed up, it was, I want to say, 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So everybody that got their opening got theirs. They had both the 10-inch and the little guy. And when I got there, they had the 10-inch and they still had the little one. So I didn't actually pick one of the 10-inch ones up there. I picked, I actually got it online the day before because I was, I didn't think that they were going to, this is the box, it's not in there because like I said, I already took it out. Um, but I do like the backing for this. Um, but yeah, I didn't think they were going to have very many of these. So I ordered it online right away just because I didn't know. Um, so I love the little picture of Mickey in the background. Basically the box is the same as the little one, has the same characters on the back. This box came perfect which i was really worried about the 10 inch i've never had a 10 inch shipped before um so i don't know and it'll be interesting to see because there's some more 10 inch ones coming so we'll see not of that one but some other ones so and then we have the 10 inch mickey right here next to the little guy so i love these 10 inch pops i do have the black and white 10 inch mickey which i love Unfortunately, my shoulder is still not perfect, so I got to do this one handed. So, great job on the detail for this. I love how they have the tail coming down. Um, my only complaint, the paint job is perfect. My only complaint about this is the way the head attaches right here. You can kind of see these darker areas. It's kind of like recessed in a little bit. And if you hit it the right way, you can see it's actually kind of gapped a little bit. But when you're looking at these, these will go back in the box, and I probably will never take these out of the box. So, um, totally fine with it. There is some like, you can kind of see it a little bit. There's like some sticky brown stuff on the back of his head, that little black dark spot right there. So I'm gonna wipe this off before I put it back in the box. But uh, I do love the colors. A lot of the people from the area are saying, you know, Seattle, these are like, it's like the Seahawks Mickey. Um, not really, the colors are way off for, for that. I mean, yeah. It, it, it's way off, but uh, we're interested to see if any of the other ones show up. I think that's the only 10 inch one and then the rest are going to be all the mini sizes, but they're supposed to release two colors every week, every other Saturday. So we'll be interested to see if tomorrow, if any of these show up at HQ, the, the other colors, because I think there's like six or eight colors. So, but that is it. This one went a lot better. Thank you for liking, subscribing, follow me on Instagram, all that stuff. I did post some pictures of uh, some stuff on Instagram. I have been doing some live, like last minute night hunts at Walmart. They've been super duds, have not found anything aside from some snacks that I didn't need. Uh, so yeah, but I do have some stuff coming in the mail. So we'll do some news. I, like I said, I am sorry that it took so long to get this video out. There's been a lot of crap going on. Uh, Happening to sell some pops and trade some stuff and get rid of some stuff to pay for some car uh, repairs on my wife's car. So all that stuff should be taken care of. We should be good now. So yeah, I should be able to get back onto a more regular routine. Uh, I am this close to hitting a thousand subscribers. I think I'm like 95 subscribers away. So please like and subscribe and share these videos. I would love to hit that thousand before Christmas if I could. And then I'm looking at doing a giveaway of some kind. I've got some ideas for some cool stuff. As you know, I do my 3D printing and so there'll definitely be some 3D printing stuff in there. Uh, some HQ stuff since it's so close. I've been toying around with the idea of doing a live HQ hunt. I almost did one Wednesday morning, but it was just a little too crazy. So, wait wait for that one i'm sure it'll happen at some point but yeah like i said thank you everyone for supporting me in this crazy youtube life so <laughs> as always stay awesome people